fans and welcome back to another match day live. Uh, Jules V Oldham today, as you can say, we're walking to the ground now. It is absolutely freezing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks bright and it looks nice if you're inside or in a car, but it is absolutely taters. Anyway, on to the important things. Uh, team news is in already. Uh, no real surprises. Unchanged no, from Tuesday really. night. Well, that's the thing, yeah. Max Amar's been very good. Obviously, missed out Tuesday at Blackpool because of suspension. But the thing is, if you do bring him back in, who would you drop? It'd be harsh, harsh on any of them, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, so he has to make do with a place on the bench. Who's dropped off the bench? Darren Oldacre. And Nelson's, and Nelson's not on the bench again today, which is another weird one. Steve Arnold's back today as the backup goalkeeper. Um, your guess is as good as mine. It just seems to me that Steve Lovell don't know who his number two is at the moment. Surely for the good of everyone, one of them leaves in January. Yeah. Because they don't at know what's happening. At least one, because depending on how Hadler rated if he comes back. Yeah, that's a fair point. I don't think Hadler will be, I don't think they'll get Hadler involved in the first team till next season, to be no. honest now, after what we've heard. But this this situation's just it's not any good for Steve Arnold or Stuart Nelson, friend, is it? Like they're both missing out and playing with somewhere else, to be honest. Um, and yeah, they're both at the age where they want to be getting involved and wanting to be getting minutes so um, an intriguing one that we'll keep an eye on because obviously transfer window's not too far away now. Um, in terms of their team news, all the usual suspects in terms of a threat of playing. Um, Owen Doyle, and Craig, Davis. Craig Davis, big lump. Um, is it their club captains on the bench? Oh, is it Peter Clark? Peter is he their club captain? Bench, Anthony, Gerrard Anthony Gerrard who used to be at uh, Huddersfield, Huddersfield. And Everton, Everton as a kid wasn't he? Yeah. So they've got a few that are recognisable in terms of names. Obviously Doyle at Pro's a big threat after it's been cracking, 13 goals in 16 games. Yeah, it's goal of the season contender, absolutely brilliant technique. But um, we're just approaching the ground now, so we'll catch up with more in there. Had a shot clear. Decent bit of football, to be fair, after uh, Parker pinched it. Yeah, Parker intercepted um, right back's pass, drove on, got a bit fortunate with the pass, it was a bit, uh, weren't much on it, but Martin managed to make the most of it. Um, keepers blocked it and then it's come back up against Parker's at, that's had the shot and the uh, defenders cleared it. Got a corner now. Started off a bit slow, I think, but. Um, they had a chance just before, didn't Yeah, they had a chance just before. Uh, Holy made a good sign. Oh, this is a weird one. We're going to stay with this. It's gone short to O'Neill. Delivery is straight up. It's been cleared.
to make a change. There's been what eight minutes injured. And Lee Martin took one full in the face. Quite close, were not it? Staggered and went down, and he got a lot of treatment. And he's just gone off. He's been taken off on a stretcher. Like a neck brace as well. Massive neck brace on out through the back of the railing. Mean, so it seems he's either going to a medical area or straight onto an ambulance. Um, but either way, it didn't look clever. Uh, there's going to be a lot of injury time. Half time at the Priestfield um, after a very extended first period that went to what the 57th minute. Like that, yeah. We just heard that Lee Martin's all right, which is a, a good thing first and foremost. But obviously, in terms of the game, what were your thoughts on that? I think it's quite a scrappy game so far. Um, Holden have probably had the best chance in the first half for once. That was whipped across the box, and I think it was it Doyle that missed a few yards out. Not sure. Point. Yeah, he tried to guide it far post, didn't he? Whoever it was. Yeah, I mean we've had a few chances. I wouldn't say the keeper's been tested too much. Neither keeper's really been tested that much. Um, it's all a bit scrappy for me at the moment. Yeah, you can say it's two teams down the bottom, I suppose, but Oldham looked to have played the better football. I yeah, agree. No, I agree they, they've got that, it down yeah. better than we have. We've looked a bit rushed with it, but um, Holden made one good save, didn't he? The one where he's, he looked like he's got his weight going one way, and the ball did all sorts in the air, and he got his hand yeah. up. Um, what I would say is since um, Martin went off we were all bag staff on, we've changed the system and I think it's um, isolated Wilkinson a bit more because he's playing out wide, yeah, it looks like, it. and it doesn't appear to favour his game, so I don't think that's helping him too much. No, I'd like to see him get closer to the second half shooting towards the right of him, definitely maybe go back to that three at the back, play wag staff as the wing back, can't we? Or, yeah. or even just leave Waggy in where Lee Martin was. But yeah. Well, do you think it's stand out so far, player wise? Zach Warney probably. Well, or else he's not. Claire's had a good game as he's well. He's been alright, yeah. Been quite he's trying solid. to travel. He's trying to get us up the pitch, which is a good thing. But I think Zach Warney, in terms because we've defended for most of it, I think he's, he's won most things in the air. He's made a couple of good last inch blocks. Um, for them, probably their goalie. Yeah. <laughs> Can't remember a keeper touching it as much as he has. He um, certainly thinks he can play. Yeah. Just the hope he's down here that he'll get caught second half. Yeah, you just hope he gets a bit too arrogant and a bit too confident. That's it, yeah, they make a mistake. One. I think he's only misplaced one pass. I think it's yeah, he's done a, a lot bit over hit for the defender went out for a throw. But, but yeah, just you don't really the, get uh, at this level, do you? No. Uh, a little bit of a Rennie high gator going on. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's hope the second half's a bit shorter and hopefully we can go on with the game. Chances at both ends. Uh, one for us, Mark Byrne gets the ball, drives across the box and scuffs the left foot finish, doesn't he? But they, know, they just cut us open a bit easier again, didn't they? And uh, Oli's up to make another smother inside. There was a gap between the centre halves and the wide players. Was it the last home game as well? Very easy. There was massive gaps between the centre midfielders as well. I said to you, I think we need to get Aymar on. He ran that defence and sit in front. Yeah. At the moment, it's too easy to get in between us. Yeah, corner coming in for Oldham here at the moment. Uh, out swinger, Eddard's gone, cleared by Wagstaff, and we might be able to break here. Oh no, our player's got to the ball before us, back into our box. Mark Burns got it and cleared it again. Still nil nil. Our gone, just starting to create a little, couple of little bits there, haven't we, Stocky? Um, first with Tommy. He just didn't seem to wrap his foot around the corner, but it's looking promising, but still they've had a Decent yeah, well. just had a really well worked free kick, which luckily Shit. took a slight bit from Holy Smothered. It, yeah, it's pretty even at the moment. I, I can't, I think, first goal's going to happen. Yeah. Tom Eves is chasing one down here. He'll we'll stay with us. He's done really well, cut inside. Nah. Oh, still alive, Wilkinson. Wilkinson. Get out of the way. Giving it short there. He'll stay with you for a little while. Ball into the box. Oh, it's going to be defended. Get in! Oh, no, he's drifting wide, but it's another attempt on goal. We're just starting to just create a little bit. Still nil nil with half our left. Another chance for Jules. That's three or four now, isn't it? Josh Parker, you can talk me through it. I don't know. He done the half bit, didn't he? Oh, he got, he's got done himself the a yard. Wide, yeah, he put it through defenders' legs. And then the coach was like, goal. He's literally, what, 15 yards out. He's, he's, he's nearly the roof of the rain, I mean. Um, still nil nil, but we are creating a few. Oldham should be leading, shouldn't they? Yeah, I don't know if it's Mark Byrne or Ogilvy, I'm not sure. Absolute but Absolute let off, round at the keeper. Open goal. Open goal, brilliant defending. We don't know who it's Crashed goal, into a really post and we now got to defend the corner, which is coming now. No, not yet. 
They're having the more clearer cut chances, aren't they? Let's be honest. Yeah, they probably had the better ones. We've had more of them. I think one goal, Nick it. His corner is coming, I promise. Oh, here it comes. Short one. Roller. Part is clear. That's going out. That's a throw into. Dangerous area, this one, and it stopped. Yep. About 30 yards from goal right hand side. Close delivery. Short clear over it. Here it comes now. Get up, get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Keeps in no man's land. It's a strange one. Tom Eves just can't chase it down, unfortunately. Otherwise, if he just got a toe on it, he could have poked it in. That was going in. The kick was nowhere near his goal. Yeah, it's a weird one, isn't it? Still nil nil. Eight minutes plus injuries. Go on. Keeper's just pulled off an absolute worldie from Luke O'Neill's free kick, and we've got a call on his three minutes of injury time, I think. Side of the bar. Yeah, the it's it's watching, man, get up, get up. Gone far post. Zach Quarney. Ah, it's falling for them, and they need to come back into the box. Mark Burns flicks it for Wilkinson. Oh, oh, it's throwing to Jules. About a minute and a half left, I'd say. Go on, Essie. Rush the throw in a little bit. Hit it, hit it. Oh, shoot! Yeah, I've got to get it off, load it quicker! Have a go at anything. That's, what Elliot is, that's where Elliot lets himself down, isn't it? Yeah, just got to be a bit braver there as well. Yeah, burn as well, I think. Hold him a break in, we're going to stay with him. Ricochet in our box could have gone anywhere, it's gone safe, but they've still got the ball. Ogilvy's just smothered it away. Zach Quarley completed the job, but it's going to come at every angle. It's probably it now. Frustrating. Oh, a chance to break and Elliot Liss kick fresh air. Oh, oh, chance to break. Mark Burns got it. Too late again. He's just held on to it too long again. That's probably it. Has it been going since the No, since after. So there's only. This is on two minutes now, so. And they've got the ball, so I can't see us creating another chance. Oh, we've got it again. Last chance! No, we want to do too much of it again. There you go, the ball. Oh, breaking! Tom Eads left channel! He's just running his man again. Luke O'Neill. That's full time, it's finished, nil nil. Uh, full time at the Priestfield and we still haven't won in the league at home under Steve Lovell. Still the only thing to tick off that to-do list, unfortunately. Um, weren't a bad performance again, was it? No, I think... Patchy? Yeah, it, it wasn't a terrible nil-nil, it just lacked a bit of quality from both teams. Yeah, just, just composure in the, in the box, I suppose, or yeah. in the final third, because we've done, both sides done a lot right box to box, but... I mean, we've created a few chances second <coughs> half, haven't we? We've had the Mark Byrne one where he's scuffed it when he's created yeah, himself um, half a yard. Josh Parker. Wilkinson won the header when he was basically on the lot. Uh, it was almost out, weren't it? Oh, yeah, and he's just couldn't get stretched far enough and poke it in from across from the um, right-hand side. Parker had a couple, didn't he? The second one, he should score. Well, that, he's just got to the target, goal, yeah. He's just, I don't know, I said to you, in the ground, why is he just... Why is he trying to whack the level off the it? Target, just hit the target, trying to bend it in a corner, yeah. Um and then the one right at the end, Luke O'Neill's free kick. We've just said, couldn't have got it any closer to the top corner. <laughs> and to be fair to Johnny Placide, him of high ET fame, um, it's a brilliant save. I think he's got fingers onto it, onto the bar, it's bounced down off the line and, and come and, out. Uh, he didn't smile after that one, a lot, a lot of his errors, he kept laughing. He him, was though, um, an interesting character, to <laughs> say the least. I'm not sure what Oldham fans think of him. He was when he thought he'd scored, he was laying on his Yeah, but front on first, just like face planted <laughs> the deck, a strange character, but um, in fairness, he wasn't that bad. No. Um, didn't agree with a man of the match today. No. Sponsors we, we, man of the match. We'll, uh, 
pretty you know, nice, weren't we, three of us? Well, you said Gabriel was at quality, he was first class, didn't miss a header, didn't miss a tackle, he's got his body on the line a couple of times first half. Um, just frustrating, missed opportunity. I've not looked at the table, but I think we've dropped back in because Rochdale, Rochdale a little bit surprisingly, have beaten Peterborough. So, otherwise, we could have jumped up to about 17th, I think, with a win. But the unbeaten run still goes on, which is the it's positive. Clean sheet, isn't it? We're not shipping goals like Yeah, that's there. it. We're in games all the time at the moment, which is the good sign. But um, the thing is, if we do start struggling for points away from home, then obviously the onus is on us to start picking up at home. And we've got a lot of home games coming up in the next couple yeah. of weeks. So, um, the sooner we can get that monkey off the back, so to speak, the, the better for all of us. But um, yeah, like Bod said, it weren't a bad nil-nil. It's just frustrating because it feels like a bit of a missed opportunity again. But we then got... they're probably thinking the same, which is why I think a draw is probably a fair result. Yeah, it was probably a fair result in terms of, like we've already said, both teams were all right from box to box and both defended well enough, but they just lacked a little bit of composure in, in the opposing penalty area. But um, it's really cold. Really, really <laughs> cold. Boz has got a coat on, that's how cold it is, and trousers and a and jumper. A jumper. Um, and he's talking about gloves for next week. Um, anyway... As always, thanks for doing all the usual, and until next time, up the jewels.